Hey, I haven't posted in a little while and I got some requests and I want to first go through a couple of housekeeping things. So, um, if you like the videos, please like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share, comment. Uh, comments get responded to very quickly. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about how to flip in New York, um, there's a link downstairs, da down below that says howtoflipnewyork.com and you can go there, put your email address, you'll get more information. Um, our next meeting, a virtual meeting, is Thursday, May 14th. I think it's a week from today, um, 4 to 5.30 p.m. via Google Hangout. The link is below. So the, requ the question that I got in the request for a video is how do you deal with the assignability of a contract in New York? Basically, the question was um, how do you make sure the contract is assignable if the seller's attorney is preparing it? Now, this is a complicated issue, right? And um, I have an entire course that talks about exactly what you're supposed to say to a seller before he talks to his attorney. Once he speaks to his attorney, it could be too late. But basically, you have to tell him that the contract needs to be assignable and explain it to him in a way that makes sense for him, where it's a benefit for him. And, and you need to do that before he speaks to his attorney. And it's not easy. It's not a simple thing. But you, there's a certain way in New York that you have to speak to um sellers they're different than every other state in the country by far and because of the way attorneys work and the way uh, uh, contracts are prepared so um you're basically telling him that it's in his best interest to make it assignable because you have other investors that may want to move it to another entity right before the closing and um you don't want to delay the closing it's what you're going to say in essence this is a slightly different verbiage there's more detail to it but there's a lot of nuances in how you speak to a seller once the seller agrees. You know, in other states, the seller agrees. You push a contract over to a check for $50 and you're in contract. Here, it, once the seller agrees, you got a lot of work ahead of you. And it's complicated and it's some of the things that uh, we teach in the course. So if you are interested in learning more, go down below to How to Flip New York. And we're going to answer any other questions we have. So please feel free to... Uh, Feel free to ask any questions you want, and I'm happy to help you in any way I can.